road again this morning with the van on. Doing some travelling around. We're heading out to a little falls. Where did you say that was? Coomba. Coomba? Coomba Falls. Near Maidenwell. So, yeah, so we're going to check that out. See, so, yeah, actually, the sign's right in front of us 500 metres, I think it said, yep. to the turn. So, we're going to check that out. I might jump in for a swim if it's not freezing. Don't know about that. <laughs> might be a bit cold. Yeah, I think it might be a bit cold. Yeah, so it should be pretty good. As you can see, we've got the dog in the back seat. It's the first time for her in the car. Yes, in the car. And we've got just Marnie with us on this trip. Uh, being, being a blended family with shared care arrangements, the other kids are with their other parents. So Marnie gets to spend some time with mum and dad this trip. Yeah, so that'll be good. We'll head out there and have a look and see what it looks like. The photos look bloody beautiful. Can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, we just pulled over nearly into Yarraman and seen some nice fresh mandarins. Check these out. Nibble. Oh. Get into these little towns, pull up and support the locals. I like sort of pulling over and have a look at the little shops and there's always something cool in these little towns. So we've just pulled up, have a bit of leg stretch, get some mandarins and we'll keep going. So we've just arrived at Coomera Falls. Spoke Last... to a few people up the top. It's quite a steep and narrow road in. So if you've got a big van you're coming out here, there's a good parking area right at the top. You can unload the van. Um, we unloaded ours, but we probably could have got it in here. But if you've got sort of 19, 20, 21 foot vans, I wouldn't advise bringing it in here. So we're going to walk down. They also said there's water down there, but they reckon it's a bit murky. So we'll go and have a look. Look at the sandstone looking one up the top there. It's like it's been put there and the top rock holds it in place. It's crazy. Wow. Pretty cool looking place. You can see how it cascade down this rock here with a bit of rain. Check out that rock up the top there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it looks like there's little rocks underneath it holding it up. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Wow. And this bigger one that's in front of it, it's got the big split through it. It's a really pretty place. It'd be really nice when that water's running through. Yeah. Not pram friendly either, so if you're coming down with little kids. This little one's really big. Here we go.
chinchilla weir. We're gonna pull up here for the night to free camp. So that's a good little grassed area. There's actually quite a few people here. We're like midweek, and I was surprised at how many people are here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna hang around here tonight. I think Rocky wants to go and have a look at a big watermelon in the morning. That's apparently a bit of an icon of chinchilla. So we'll go and have a look at that in the morning, and then we'll keep heading out. Go out a bit further and see where it takes us. Right, I spent the night at the Chinchilla Weir. Jeez, it got a bit chilly early morning. Just gone for a walk this morning, have a look at this upgrade they're doing to it. There's a whole heap of powered sites and stuff. They're upgrading amenities, picnic areas, and that sort of thing up near the boat ramp. So I'll just turn you around. So these are all gonna be powered caravan sites. There's quite a few there. I'll wander up in a sec and I'll show you the boat ramp and picnic areas. Alright, hey, amenities block. Um, female male toilets, urinal, no showers. So um, yeah, you're swimming in the in the weir to have a shower if you're here for a couple of days. Oh, just chasing this little feral around this morning. She kept us up all night. So she's always fun to sleep. It's found these weird little beetles that actually Marnie found them and yelled out, Dad, Dad! Yeah. Well, they're strange and they're also, sort of, looks like they got a mission. They're marching somewhere. Interesting, they're right back over here too. I don't know, small things in me, small minds sometimes I suppose. There's one over here. Yeah, it's one over here. There's more over there, is there? Yeah. So this area that's fenced off, all the way up here, is Chinchilla Ski Club. It's a pretty nice little spot. Yes? Yes, Marnie? Who else has trouble with toddlers that can't leave you alone for five seconds? Hold your hand? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Got it. Got it? You happy now? Hmm? Are you happy now? You got my hand? What are you going to do? I just don't want to walk over there. Are we walking over here, are we? Yeah. Okay. So these are these new picnic area, day area. Of the, it's right sort of close to the boat ramp. Um, fair few of them. It's going to be a nice little spot when it's finished. Oh no, family picnic area. These are all lit too. I see the, because it's new, obviously the power's running out, but see the telecom cords there? So I'll, they'll pull power through that and put lights up inside. This one over here, it's actually a communal barbecue area or fire pit. It's a pretty good idea. I'm assuming there's going to be all lights where these witches, witches hats are. All the caravan sites have got these as well in a smaller version. Excellent, really well thought out. Pretty nice place, can't wait to see it when it's done. Oh, Alright, this is a boat ramp. Birthing pontoon. Yeah, 
Yes, Marnie, I'm coming. Marnie, slow down. I don't know if you can see those pelicans. Straight over there. That's actually the weir that we showed you earlier yesterday. They're sitting in the bottom waiting for the fish to come down the weir and catch them in the bottom. Pretty tricky. There's actually quite a few fl fish flipping around in here this morning. This big old girl rolled in last night. I reckon it wouldn't be a bad way to travel around Australia. Not too bad at all. Righto guys, day two on the road again. Packed up this morning and from the weir. Went into town. I was gonna say, it was a nice night. It was nice yeah, and it quiet. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was nice. It got cold towards the early morning. And, uh, poor old Merlo, she was under the van, all rubbed up. Anyway, so we got it, went into town this morning. We had a look at the big watermelon. That was cool. <laughs> it was. It was different. Uh, went and had a look at the Drought Angels. It's a charity. It's a big um, charity shed. So we had a look in there. And Marty got herself a stuffed cow or something. What the hell it is? Cow. With adoption papers, mind you. Yeah. Then we went and had a look at the markets. There's some farmer markets just leaving Chinchilla. So we loaded up on fruit and veg there. Now we're going to head up to Miles. We're due for some fuel. And we're, and we're hungry, so we're due for some fuel as well. And um, then after that, out to Wandoan. 